Ever since I switched from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve, I've loved pretty much everything about Resolve, uh, with a few exceptions. One of those exceptions is actually the way that they handle timeline zooming. Let me explain. So I'm gonna switch over to my other screen here, and I'm currently sorting the B-roll for one of my weddings that I just shot. So as I'm scrolling and scrubbing through here, I will cut a clip, and let's say I wanna keep this portion here, cut that, and then delete those two things, right? And uh, typically I'll just use my mouse. I use an MX master three and I use the second scroll wheel to go from side to side, but sometimes I need to, uh, zoom in and out. And one of the things that really bothers me about DaVinci resolve is that when you hold alt to, and scroll wheel to zoom, it centers to the playhead and zooms in and out where the playhead is. Now you might prefer that and that might be the best way for you, but that's actually one of the things that annoys me about DaVinci resolve. Uh, versus Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere, by default, when you zoom in and out on your timeline, it zooms in and out from where um, your cursor is, relative to where your cursor is. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it. It's super easy, it only takes a second. So while you're in the DaVinci Resolve uh, edit space, uh, go up to here and you'll see view, click on view. Now, all you have to do is come down and click on zoom around mouse pointer. So before I enable it, let me show you once again, if you hold alt and scroll wheel, you'll zoom in and out according to where the playhead is in your timeline. And that might be what you want to do, that's fine. Um, but that's not necessarily my favorite way to edit videos. Um, so what I do is go to view and then do zoom around mouse pointer. It's that easy, it's really simple to enable. Now, when I zoom in and out, if I move to the left and zoom out, you'll see I'm moving, oh, zooming away from my mouse pointer. And then if I zoom in over here, I'm zooming in where my mouse pointer is. And I can easily just bring the playhead whatever I want just by clicking up inside this ruler section here. And that just snaps the playhead to wherever my mouse is. And then I don't have to hunt for the playhead. I can just be like, oh yeah, let's go over here and edit. Um, in here. So yeah, that's it really. Uh, there's not much more to it. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It was a really short one today. Uh, very, very quick tip, if you will. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please uh, hit that thumbs up button in down below the video. Leave a comment about um, maybe what you would like to see me uh, do next. And as a reminder, I'm also uh, I also have a mailing list, a link in the video description so that you can sign up to be the first to know once my DaVinci Resolve editing course goes live. This course that I'm designing is to help you maximize your profits and your business for whatever you use, whatever you use DaVinci Resolve for. So again, I really appreciate you watching.